Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be when she dumps you for her ex. I've got an email here from a viewer, and he says, Hey, Corey, I was dating this girl for about six weeks. In my mind, she was my dream girl. She was very beautiful, kind of shy, and we had a lot in common. We had sex a few times, and after a while, I noticed she started becoming somewhat distant. Now, I believe I was showing weakness by coming across needy too early in the relationship. It's a pretty common problem. It's what a lot of guys do when they're with a girl they really like. When I questioned her on her recent flaky behavior, she tried to reassure me that she was just working a lot and was very busy. He says, yeah, right. So at least that's the thing. When you confront women about these things, they're never going to give you a fucking straight answer because they they don't want to hurt your feelings. They don't want to tell you it's like, hey, I'm falling out of love with you or I'm not really that indie anymore or I'm thinking about dumping you. They're not going to come out and tell you stuff like that. So it's kind of pointless to ask them. He says, basically, she changed the terms of our relationship to friends only. I did the right thing. I told her I would come get my things. I kept it casual and cool. And as I did this, I then went no contact with her. It's been about a month and a half with no contact from either side. Recently, I noticed the last few Facebook statuses she has been posting went like this. I give up. You're never going to change. And if you take advantage of me, I'm not scared to walk away. Obviously, she's referring to her ex-boyfriend. Honestly, I believe it's her ex-boyfriend she may have left me for. It's totally possible. Here's the thing. When a, when a woman's in a relationship for a guy with a guy for a lot of months or a lot of years and then she breaks up the thing you gotta understand is she has a lot of time with that guy to develop an emotional connection and bond and they plus they've got a lot of history together and then you come along and you've only known her for a few weeks and things might be great for a while but at the end of the day she's still going to be emotionally connected and anchored to the ex-boyfriend and it'll be pretty easy for him to pull her away from you unless she stayed with him to the point where she just couldn't stand him anymore But your problem in your case is that she started dating you and things were great at first, but you started acting all weak and needy like you say, and that turned her off. And so when you're acting weak and needy, you're disqualifying yourself, and she's looking at the fact that her ex-boyfriend still wants her back, and she had a lot longer relationship with him than she did with you, and already you're doing so many things to turn her off. In her mind, she thinks, well, if I get back together with him, there's a much better chance that getting back together with my ex-boyfriend will be better than the current situation I'm in. And that's why she dumps you and she moves moves on. But had you been doing everything right or mostly everything right, there's a good chance she, she would have fallen for you and stayed with you. But like I said, when you do too many things wrong, you just she perceives you as being weak and unworthy and not a good replacement for her ex-boyfriend. So he says, I'm starting to believe that I was just a rebound in the first place, which is okay because she is hot and like my friends say, at least I got some, LOL. Absolutely, dude. It's like, don't be mad that it's over. Be glad that it happened, dude. You got you got fucked by a hot girl. It's like, what's wrong with that, dude? You had a good time. It's just that you weren't able to maintain it long term because you fucked up too many things. And Like I say all the time, repetition is the mother of skill. This is how you get better at things is by continuing to interact and date and go out with the kind of women that you like but at the end of the day you can't expect to be perfect the first time out of the shoe the first couple times you start applying the things that I teach because we all have insecurities and fears and doubts that are going to come up internally once we're with somebody that we really like because when you really like somebody you don't want it to end you want it to keep going on and any fears or doubts that you have about yourself, you're going to have to deal with those and overcome them so they no longer have an effect on you or cause you to do or to make bad decisions or, or come across as needy or do just general bad behavior that turns women off. He says, my question is, if this, if this new guy or the original ex is fucking up with her, should I look at this as a window of opportunity and break the no contact rule for a possible rebound sex since she seems to be in the same position she was in when we first met or continue to wait it out and say fuck it a guy who perceives himself as a catch will have long since forgotten about this girl and moved on with somebody else and like I say when you walk away from a girl when she unilaterally changes the terms of your relationship to friendship only you say hey I'm not interested in that 
But give me a call if it doesn't work out. Or give me a call if you change your mind. And that's all you got to do. And then you walk away and you never look back. Walking away and never looking back means exactly that. It doesn't mean a couple weeks or a couple months later when you can't take it anymore, you cave and you go puke up all of your feelings for her. It means that you walk away. And if she reaches out to you, if she calls you or she texts you or she messages you on Facebook, just assume it's because she wants you to create a fun-filled romantic opportunity for sex to happen. And so when she does reach out to you, if she does, but in the meantime, you should be dating and hooking up with plenty of other girls so you can be developing your skills. So if she does reach out to you, you'll be even more experienced and be more apt to do more things right than wrong as opposed to the first time you had a shot with her. And so when she does reach out, if she reaches out to you, you simply say, hey, it's great to hear from you. I'd love to see you. When are you free to get together? Let her tell you and say, hey, why don't you grab a bottle of wine and come on over to my place and we'll make dinner together. Let her make, let her tell you what days she's available. Make definite plans and get off the phone and say, great, I'll see you then. I look forward to it. And when she comes over, make dinner and have fun together, Play, be playful see what she's been up to and do what you always used to do when you first got together with her the first time being playful with her and then eventually make your move start kissing her making out maybe then you roll onto the couch for a while and then eventually it ends up in your bedroom for another beautiful session of the indoor olympics and make up sex whatever you want to call it. but don't talk about the past or what you did wrong just have a good time focus on keeping it fun keep it funny keep it light don't have a serious subject since she wants to talk about her ex-boyfriend doesn't bother you it doesn't bother you at all because at the end of the day she's with you at that particular moment you got to live in the moment with women that's a really important thing to take note of so if you have a question you want to ask me or there's a topic you want me to discuss in a future video newsletter go to my website click the contact me tab which will be in the left hand side of your screen and send me one to two paragraphs max and just give me several days to get back to you with a response if you want to talk to me right away the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session you can do that by going to my website, click the products tab, which will be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook, go to my website, and on the right hand side column, underneath the email sign up box, is a box that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. Once you get to the download page, if you don't have a Kindle device, there's a button you can click on the download page to download a free e-reader app for your smartphone, tablet device, or your computer. It only takes a matter of seconds to download and install the app and complete the purchase of my book. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in my coaching videos and the articles on my website and my email newsletter, you can show your appreciation by going to my website and on the Wibia toolbar, which is at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.